Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a networked uh, grabbable for your girl tech fan game. Um, some people don't have anything for that, like, I, I swear there's some videos, but I guess they're not good enough, so I'll make one. I'm pretty simple. By the way, for the loading screen, if you're going to do a loading screen script, um, you have to be on a 2022 Unity version, I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, and then also, make sure you don't have t uh, Text Mesh Pro in, like, Essentials and stuff. Uh, that seems to also work, so. Alright, well, first thing you're going to want to do, uh, go to the Discord, obviously, um, grab the scripts from here, but I don't have them in there yet, I will. Uh, and then, yeah, I already have scripts for this, apparently, so. Yeah, they're not mine, but. I scripts, so I'll just make a tutorial on them. I don't remember whose they are. I've kind of edited the uh, network part, so. Yeah, whoever's there credits you. Um, so let's do that. So, first thing, obviously, create an empty. Um, yeah, create an empty. Name it XR. That's what I did. And then put an XR in for action. Uh, interaction manager. I already have one in my uh, gorilla player. Whoops. Right here. Yeah, right here. I have mine. So, uh, once you're done doing that, create your or have your object or whatever. I'll just do a cube, but I don't care. Uh, I recommend using a mesh collider. It's just better. Convex on. And then, uh, whatever objects. Oh, yeah. Then do uh, what's it called? Add a rigid body. Obviously, you need a rigid body, and then add the disable glider on grab script. Uh, so basically, what this does is when the player grabs it, it won't have like colliders like hitting you. But then when they let go of it, it'll have a collider so it'll fall through the floor. So you're gonna drag that. Yeah, or the drag the mesh collider into here so you can just collect that. And then XR uh XR grab interactable, what you're gonna do for that. So this this script works for offline as well. If you want. Then you're gonna add the XR network grabbing interactable right here. From your XR manager right there. And then go down to use dynamic attach. So if you want to have a point, so for example, if I just make, name it, point grab. So right here, if I want, let's say I had like an object and I wanted to grab it right here instead of the actual object, you would take your point grab, go down here and throw it in attach transform. So that it would just grab there instead of actually grabbing the object. So I would recommend using, um, Dynamic attach. Okay, once that's done, grab this script, throw it in there. Then you disable collider on grab. Very right, cool. Now um, we're gonna add a photon view, obviously. And on the photon view, it changes to takeover and reliable data compressed. Now that's for the photon view. And then add a photon rigid body view and enable both of these. And that is literally it for the network grab level. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Alright guys, um, let me know if you have problems with this. If it's not working. If it is working, let me know. Uh, yeah, I'll throw a package with all the scripts and stuff in the Discord. So, see y'all then.